Hello, my name is Nate. Welcome to my art channel. As you can see, I have a special project I'm working on today. Um, this is an electric guitar that my friend Carl gave me to paint. Uh, he's an amazing uh, musician and um, uh, he's also a really good carpenter. So he gave me the, um, the guitar, but he took out all of the hardware and put in some little spacers here in wood uh, including the handle so that I can feel free to paint this however I want and then once it's dry uh, these parts can be removed um, and today I'm only going to be painting on the top I have taped off the back with some contact paper um, just regular kind of shelf paper I'm not worried about bleed through so much on the edges as I don't want any drips that I would have to sand off on the back so today I'm just doing the front or the top and once uh, this uh, is dry and cured, then I'll flip it over and I'll paint the back also. Um, so uh, I'm really excited about this. I've re I'm really, uh, I've been delaying on this because I'm a little bit intimidated because it's not a completely flat surface. This section here curves down or kind of slopes down. So um, it's going to pull the paint uh, in an unexpected way. So I'm trying to, I've come up with a plan. I think I'm going to do a Dutch pour on top of this. And hopefully um, when the paints move, because they're very thin, it's going to move. Um, it stretches out in a really interesting way in this area. Um, let me show you my colors. This is um, Pebeo's Iridescent Blue Black, which is a very cool color. And hopefully you can see that I've mixed this to a very thin consistency. It leaves just the slightest little bit of a mound uh, before it disappears or melts into uh, the rest of the paint. And hopefully you can see that it's like a, I think it's misnamed. It's really uh, iridescent blue gray. It's kind of a um, gunmetal gray color with a really vibrant blue flash to it. I think this is gonna be spectacular on a guitar. And I'm pairing that with uh, Amsterdam Titanium White and Amsterdam uh, turquoise green. So I'm hoping this looks really electric when it dries because it's an electric guitar. <laughs> I've been saving this iridescent blue black for a really cool um, uh, piece because I can't get this uh, in Costa Rica. I have to import it. So I've got two tubes. I've used an entire tube. I've mixed up enough of both, all three of these paints so I can do both sides. Um, uh, but I think this is going to be, I'm really excited to see what this looks like on top of this dark base coat, so or dark, dark surface. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is put down my base coat. I'm going to kind of drizzle it around here and then blow it out with my hair dryer. And that will give me, an, uh, I will watch to see how the paints move in this area. And that will help me understand what I do with the other colors. So sit back and enjoy. I'll put on some music for you while I get started and have some fun. Come 
there she is. I'm really excited to see how this turns out. I love this color combination. It's shocking and bold, which is exactly what a, an electric car should be. I think you can see that iridescent blue flash on the, uh, the blue-black. Um, the, all the colors have played really well together. Let me get that to focus a little bit. There we go. Isn't that cool? <laughs> wow. Oh, I love that section right there. Really cool. And that will probably continue to move. That's the section that kind of slopes down. So I'll come and check on this a couple of times uh, to scrape off any drips. Uh, everywhere that you see a screw, you can kind of see the outline of where uh, the hardware sections are gonna be removed. So that'll clean up the messy bits in the center, but I'm super excited to see how this dries. Unfortunately, I will not have dry results for this video, but I will make sure I do it in the next one. Uh, when I, especially when I do the back side, I'll show you. Um, I'm in the community theater uh, play this weekend and next. Uh, I'm doing Mamma Mia, and uh, we just had our opening night last night, and it was freaking magical. I loved it, and I can't wait to do it again. We get to do it five more times, <laughs> but it is really, um, uh, with all the rehearsals and everything, it's slowed down my ability to do uh, some painting, so I'm happy to get this project done. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, give me a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more and go mix up some paints and be fearless. Well, surprise, it dried in like four hours. This is amazing. Look at that iridescent blue black. It is amazing. Wow. Let's see how close I can get here. Can I get out of the glare? I don't think so. I over it like, look at that. Wow. I am so happy with this. I think Carl's really gonna love it too. That is amazing. And what's great is because the paints are so thin, um, I should be able to just use an X-Acto knife around the edge there and pull those, um, uh, those blocks of wood right out and he can still play this, yay! Okay, so this is part one, part two, we'll do the back. Thanks again for watching.